Welcome ladies and gentlemen. I want to appreciate you so much because of your support towards the analysis of this channel. Thank you so much. Welcome again. Meguna breaks silence after cases he filed against the former CS of Interior Security, that is Fred Matiangi, and Permanent Secretary of uh, Interior Security, that is uh, Karanja Kibicho, were allegedly dismissed. Ladies and gentlemen, I want us to look how Meguna Meguna has come out to attack attack the judge that has come out to dismiss his cases. But before we do that, ladies and gentlemen, if you are a visitor for the first time and you have not subscribed to this channel, please do me a favor. Ensure that you subscribe to this channel. You put on the notification bell that when I upload my videos like this, you get notified automatically by YouTube. For those who are returning subscribers, I want to appreciate you so much because of your great support. Please consider liking this video. When you like this video, you support this video. Now, I want us to read what Meguna is saying towards his cases that has been uh, dropped due to uh, that there were no enough evidence toward towards accusing uh, Fred Matiangi and of course Karanja Kibicho. This is whatever Meguna is saying. He has wrote about three tweets. I want us to go through those three tweets, then we continue. Now, this is whatever Meguna is saying. The first tweet is, Who is Justice C. Meoli? On whose orders did she dismiss four of my cases against Fred Matiangi and Kibicho and others on 14th October 2022, six days before my return to Kenya. Without notice to me, instead of rendering judgment against the defendants who had not defended yes, Kenya at Kenya Judiciary. Then the second tweet, ladies and gentlemen, I want to uh, still criticize this first tweet. First tweet is complaining about the judge Meoli who um, uh, dismissed his four cases against Fred Matiangi and Kibicho and others on 14th October 2022 before he returned back in the Republic of Kenya and is complaining about judiciary. Number two, his tweet is saying, Justice Simeoli must be investigated for supremacially presiding over multiple cases against state preparators of impunity and other apologists in secret and without notice to me. I have instructed advocates to reinstate the cases and pursue action against the judge. That is whatever is saying that that judge that came out to dismiss his four cases and others must be investigated and reinstated so that the, act, uh, the judge um, must face the action. Then the third tweet is saying that the rules of the court and common practice around the world don't panic, permit a single judge to preside over and determine more than one case in one city. Yet Justice C. Meoli purported to dismiss more than four cases I had filed against various parties at one sitting without notice. Ladies and gentlemen, Meguna Meguna is forgetting that upon his dismissal, when it comes to his cases, there are certain signals that, ladies and gentlemen, these cases, number one, maybe does not have evidence because Meguna Meguna is perpetuating that Matiangi and Kibicho 
were the people that gave out orders for him to be deported. Miguna is forgetting that those who were in government and those who were having strength were Uhuru Kenyatta and William Samuel Ruto. So when it comes to deportation of Miguna, I want to say it without any fear of contradiction, William Samuel Ruto was in that meeting, Uhuru Kenyatta was in that meeting, Matiani was in that meeting, and Kibicho was in that meeting. So I think the order ca came from Uhuru Kenyatta and William Samoe Ruto. So to come and accuse Matiani, Matiani they were just employed. For them, they were to follow the instructions. So I don't see any grudge that Miguna Miguna is having towards Matiani and Kibicho and maybe for others. Because this literally something that Miguna is holding as a grudge between himself, one, number two, between, uh, between himself and uh, Matiangi and Kibicho, number two, the grudge between himself and Raila Amulodinga. Because he is also claiming that Raila Amulodinga was also behind his deportation. And that is why at times when you look at Miguna, he is so learned. But in terms of certain issues that he handles as person that is so hon honored with his um, education, at times you can see something missing in Meguna. Because though he might be right that a judge might not dismiss several cases in one session. But the truth is, even despite these cases was not going to be dismissed, is these cases going to have evidence? Is this case going to uh, have evidence towards Megu uh, Matiani and Kibicho? Because for them, they were doing whatever they were directed to do. So I don't see any scenario that Miguna Miguna is coming out with a lot of grudge to ensure that Matiani and Kibicho, Raila and others are going to be persecuted because they were behind the deportation, uh, his deportation to Canada, which according to me, it was about the government. And that period it was William Samaruto and Uru Kenyatta. Uru Kenyatta was the president, William Ruto was the deputy president. So I don't see any scenarios that, ladies and gentlemen, we might see it like Meguna is right, but again, there are certain issues that we must look at in depth. So, ladies and gentlemen, what are those? Do you support the dismissal of the cases of Matiangi, Kibicho, Raila, and others that Matiangi? Uh, that uh, Miguna Miguna took to the court or filed to the court despite of Miguna complaining. So ladies and gentlemen, give, give your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, I want to appreciate you so much because of great support. Thank you so much. Asante and Sana. Bye-bye till you meet on another video.